Hi, I'm Angie Matson. Well, a lot of times I pull from experiences that I've had and people that I've met in different places. Um, so a lot of my songs are about random things that happened in the past in, in foreign places and whatnot, relationships. I think that, I don't know, I guess traveling in general sort of opens your eyes up and you you learn a lot about people. You know, people really are the same everywhere. They want the same basic things and I think that it's given me an understanding of the world and enabled me to see things through different eyes. Um, well, I guess it's just from writing more songs and listening back to the things that you know, that I've wanted to change and listening to other music that I love and getting inspired and trying to push myself to write the kind of songs I wish I would have written, you know, and now that happens once in a while. I do, I have a lot of songs I never recorded that I'll go back to and, and mess around with, but there's some that are just out there in the world and there's nothing I can do about it. I'll be touring and I'll just be playing this one song I just wrote and I'll change a line or just a couple words in the line. Um, but I guess once the song was recorded and I've listened to it, even if it's just a demo that I did at home, it's hard for me to change it because it's kind of stuck with me that way. I just leave the names out, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that's about it. I mean, some of the stuff is giving a lot away, but you would never know unless you like know the situation. I like that people can interpret the songs however they want and then uh, if they want an explanation of what it means to me then sometimes I'll give that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I think about that a lot and it changes from day to day. You know, sometimes I'm in a mood where I, I want to make a record just like, you know, the Eagles or I want to make a record just like Metallica, but not Metallica, but you know what I mean. It's, it's always different I'll get on a different kick, but I'm always writing songs and in the end it just whatever songs end up being the best I put together and see you know see what happens in the studio. Well, fashion. I don't know, I have to decide what to wear. I kind of wish I had a uniform, so I didn't ever have to think about that. But um it's sort of like um I guess it's how you can express yourself. You know, people can take one look at me and think, "Oh, she probably sounds like this, so I want to listen to it or I don't." So it's important, I guess, what what I wear. Um, I should think about that a little more sometimes. But <laughs> I try to look at a picture or something and and pretend it's not me and say, what would I think? You know, what would I, not to be judgmental, but what would I think about that person and that music? But it's really it's really hard. So I just kind of have to wear what I feel comfortable in, and hopefully people can pick up on that. <laughs> I guess a good pair of blue jeans. Um, black tights and um, hmm, like a nice big pair of earrings I guess those things I wear a lot uh, well I live in Los Angeles now so I like to uh, I usually like to go to vintage, vintage stores or consignment shops and find things you know like one-of-a-kind little hidden treasures things like that um, I, I you know I play in, a, in another band I play bass in a band called Sabrosa Purr so I'm involved with that. Oh, it's 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 fun. It's actually a nice change. You know, Sabrosa Purr's uh, more of a heavier rock band, so it's not quite as intimate for me. So I can just get on stage and you know relax a little more. I guess. I mean, I'm relaxed with my stuff, but it's uh, it's a whole different thing. <laughs> I guess just to kind of push myself and see see what else I I'm capable of.